What's up you guys? So if you're like me and you build your drones and you want to just speed up the process and you're tired of using your old hand drivers, this is the best tool I've ever found for building drones and actually using it as a prop tool. Also, you can just put an eight millimeter on there. But basically this is the Dewalt gyroscopic screwdriver. Uh, this is the one that swivels and it also has a clutch. So Joshua Bartwell made a video recently and he suggested the one that doesn't swivel and doesn't have torque settings. I don't know why he did that because you want torque settings when you're working on a drone. I just got back from Woodstopia and I saw a few of the other ones and I tried one out and God does it suck. Uh, Josh, why'd you tell everybody to get the shit on? Just kidding. I had to make a video to set the record straight. That is not the best tool for building drones. This one is, I promise. Uh, it's a little bit more. I'm not exactly sure how much more. Um, they take the same batteries, but this one is definitely the better one to get. It's not the cheaper one, it's the better one. I'm not here to sell you on the cheapest drone tool. I'm here to sell you on the best drone tool, which is this. Why is it better than these stupid things? Well, I'll tell you right now, these things are crappy. I hate these, you get the tiny bits that only fit in these drivers. It's just not cohesive workflow to grab your bits and I always have these quick connect bits around, whether it be nut drivers or hex drivers to get in and out motor screws, because I promise you, motor screws is the worst part about building a drone because there's 16 of them. And the other driver, if you try to put in an M2 screw, is an M2 driver, if you try to put an M2 screw in and you have no torque settings, you're gonna strip that screw or you're gonna strip the, the threads. So these things also are slow as can be. I don't know why they made them so slow. I mean, it makes, I guess it makes sense. You're working on small, delicate stuff. You want it to go slow. But if you're trying to get shit done, this thing gets it. I actually have two of these one that I use here in the shop and one that I use on electrical jobs. If my big impact ever dies or I want to lighten my load while I'm walking around a house troubleshooting, this is the perfect thing. You can drill a three, four inch drywall screw in a piece of wood with this thing. Uh, it's got a lot of power and it's adjustable. I use it 99% of the time like this. I kind of just flip this up just to kind of show people that this one is cooler than the other one. All right, I hope this video helps you guys speed up the workflow on building drones. Until next time, Westside out.